And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Doki Doki Literary Club. When I gather, yeah, yeah, I, I do remember after this part, this uh, choosing of a uh, word for a poem, this is where it really starts to become uh, unhinged. All right, since I'm once again going to go and uh, Natsuki's route, saving the best for last, Yori, going to have to go with cutesy kinds of things. God help me. Uh, cutesy and anime. Two things that go directly against my ways. Well, anime doesn't really, but cutesy does. As both a man and more importantly, a red, white, and blue blooded Billy son. Ah. At least baking ain't all that bad. I remember that uh, works. Pretty sure the waterfall, yeah, had worked before. Uh, I suppose this would, yeah, it works. I guess this would work, yeah. Well, at least I've been spot on thus far. Should be interesting. Because I hear... Uh, I'm not going to spoil anything for you. For anyone who's watching. I mean, you probably already know. Uh, I don't know, marriage, yeah, that works for this. Probably, yeah. Um, because that's a baking thing. And this worked before. That's a baking thing, so that doesn't really anything that's all that bad about it. I remember this word before. I remember this. Just might have the entire thing. Yep. All right, brace yourselves, ladies and gentlemen. This is where it's going to start to get uh, more than a little unnerving. It's going to be like some of the sprites are going to look all glitchy. Because as I said, I've done this before. And uh, just, uh, it, uh, Starts become too much for me. Like a, I was just so nervous. But now that I've been exposed to it at least partially, I know what to expect. But yeah, there's gonna be glitchy looking sprites. There's gonna be probably like um, bursts and noise and such. I'm gonna turn the volume down a bit, like jump scare t kinds of things. So yeah, just uh. Brace yourselves. I again bob the mob. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> ah, don't worry. <clears throat> this might be a little strange, more than a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. Oh, look at this. Already, the entire classroom is starting to tilt. I remember that happening as well. 
Well, I'm back at the Lichy Club. So let's commence already. Everyone else is already hanging out. Yeah, this is, but that's what I was saying about. Thanks for your keeping your promise, Bob. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. And you'll never see it drawing closer. Making you dive headfirst into the hedge when you're not accustomed to it. And uh, any second now, they're just going to start with this, uh, like, um, glitched kinds of text as well. It's going to be like a deviation from uh, what had been before. It's going to have like, like this black outline and it's going to have some sort of disturbing message. Whoa, yeah, there we go. The, the glitch sprite, glitch looking. Oh, come on, like he deserves any slack. You already had to be dragged here by Monica. I don't know if you plan to come here just to hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. And, ah, uh, yeah, I remember this as well. Mark here getting in front of the dialogue box. Why? Fortunately, I have a memory like an elephant because I am one. I'm a Republican. Hey! And so I can say what this is. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps a manga collection in the club room. <laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between, say, Monica and manga. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into a seat. I'm sorry about the mouth. We'll make sure to put your comfort first, okay? Yeah, I'll just bet. He always shoots Natsuki with a disappointing glance. A disappointed. Not disappointed. Um, anyway. Now that you're in the club and all. It should be just any line now. There's going to be that glitched look at text. Perhaps you might be, have interest in picking up a book to read? Well... Can't really say no either way. I still remember there was something about that, that she said about, like, uh, us being insignificant beings and stuff like that. Like you say, I'm in this club now. It's the only feels right for me to do something like that, if you ask. Well, wait. I didn't mean it like that. Uh. If you don't really want to, then forget I said anything, I guess. Uh, no, it's not that, Yuri. Why don't you try to be part of this club? Which is not true. An avid reader. Be happy to pick up a book if you want me to. Uh, are you sure? I just feel like... Well, as vice president and all. I'll turn this down just a bit more. Just, uh, I can't remember if there's any jump scare type things, so, yeah. That should help you get started on something you might like. Oh, it reaches into a bag and pulls out a book. Yeah, it's gonna be any second now. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so we have to keep your attention. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite not me. Well, that's not true. Yo, know, thank you. I'll definitely read this. Enthusiastically take the book. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Or maybe that only happens if I'm going Yuri's route. The thing about us supposedly being insignificant beings who mean nothing or something like that. I'm not sure. Anyway. 
because that's why I tried for uh, that very first time. Now I've been settled in, I expected Mom to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. You know, his face is already buried in the book. Can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki's rummaging around in the closet. Okay, yeah, so so here, there's probably going to be that, like, something like that with Natsuki. Because I remember uh, I went to Natsuki's route last time, uh, and there was this, like, this, uh, this scene where we were both back there, me and Natsuki. Uh, it seemed to be a dialogue exclusive to her route. Ugh. There's Natsuki uttered an exasperated sigh from within the closet. Seemed to be annoyed by something. Approach her in case she needed a hand. Oh, and I'm pretty sure that in this route she swears at least once, so if any of you who are sensitive to swearing, yeah. You looking for something in here? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Why all this is here is beyond me. But yeah, anyway. I apologize to any who uh, have a problem with swearing. In fact, I'm, I'm just going to censor this. She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point of keeping your collection organized if someone else is go just going to mess it up? Suki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. My God. You read manga, right? Uh, no. I'm sorry. I just can't bring myself to say it. I actually do intend to, at some point, if I can ever find it, uh, read the manga of Fairy Tale, the anime that I have often said about, because that's what the anime is based upon. The only anime I watch in this day and age. Um, but yeah, so I really couldn't say that. Uh, this is still relatively normal. I'm not saying that. <laughs> Except I didn't. This is still relatively normal. I just don't want it to be thought that I'm a weeb. Again, I have nothing against people who are such I just am not one myself there's <sighs> um, a long volume of manga amidst the stacks of various books on the side of the shelves and I, once again I have to make this little light hearted jab against people who are in fact otakus um The uh, writer of this, Dan Salvato, he even is saying it seems that manga and books are two different things. There it is! Toki snatches it out of my hand. I would have clearly have given it to her anyway. <laughs> She then turns to a box of manga and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better. Seeing a box with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. And this is another thing I must bring up. Even more irritating than spiders? I hope that even though this is going to be a really hyper, apparently for what I've come to understand, hyper messed up kind of thing uh now that we've uh sort of acted entered act two if you will that she will still have that poem that amy likes spiders because i just find it so hilarious i 
get a closer look at the box he's admiring. Parfait Girls? It's a series I've never heard of in my life. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. As is most of our Okay, okay, I'll, I'll try to stop now. I'll try to. I'm not making any guarantees. And, and again, I, I cannot stress enough. Like, if any of you out there are, in fact, not from Japan and, and do enjoy manga and or anime, look, I have nothing against you. Nothing whatsoever. I'm just taking a few light-hearted pot shots, okay? If you're going judge, you could do it through the glass or that door. She points to the classroom door. Hey, hey, I wasn't judging anything. Didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, Bob the Mob. Can you see it? Whoa! Okay. There we go again with that. In fact... Natsuki pulls the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. I'm going to show you exactly why. She shoves the book right into my hands. Uh, stare at the cover. Features four girls in colorful attire striking animated feminine poses. Yet again, I have to say... Uh, yeah, this is not my kind of thing. <laughs> it's exceedingly, and uh, I have gotten verification since my last playthrough. This is indeed pronounced Moe, though I still have no idea what that means. Don't just stand there. What? Suki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes the seat against the wall beneath the window sills. She pats on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I wonder if the classroom can't tilt again. Take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time like that. Eh? Why's that? Uh, I guess it's easier to be close together like this. D don't just say that! You make me feel weird about it. And uh, it's always, when I, for the first time in the playthroughs, when I ex uh, say that, I'm going to explain this just in case anyone's forgotten and or anyone uh, is just tuning in. And if they are... I advise you to go back to the first part because I uh, you you just need to, to fully understand this game. There's a lot to it. Uh, I said I say weird um, to differentiate because like there's to me there's weird which is like an awesome a beyond awesome thing. Those who throughout history have been weird, like it, it traces back all the way to the caveman era. Like, uh, whoever had first discovered fire and, uh, and had developed ways of using it, whoever first invented the wheel, they were not the norm. They weren't like everyone else and because of that we as a race have been able to come past merely dwelling in caves and like getting nowhere and then there's weird and weird is like stalkers uh or, um, like what Ted did 
in that one episode of How I Met Your Mother, and in which he went uh, invited his ex-girlfriend to his wedding. That's weird. Suki crosses his arms and scoops his hands away from me. Sorry. Didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to either. Not that I can say it's a particularly bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I won't notice. I can feel appearing over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. And that would indeed be true in this kind of circumstance. <laughs> wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Hmm? You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh, what? <laughs> it's the thing I always do when, uh, whenever someone says that in real life, whenever people ask me if I like, pay attention or anything, I'll, I'll be like, I'll like, get this, this intentionally blank look on my face and I'll be like, what? I am, but nothing's really happened yet, so I can talk at the same time. Looks like it's about a bunch of friends in high school. Typical slice of life affair. I didn't really grow out of these because I was never into them. Because I'm not a weeb. And, uh, yeah, it doesn't sound like it would be very entertaining at all. N not to someone like me. I got nothing against anyone who, out there who is such a way. Okay, um... This, ladies and gentlemen, you might want to brace yourselves because I know for a fact there's going to be more of that uh, glitch type text here because so many insist on having such as their thumbnails and videos showing up in the sidebars on YouTube videos. And so it's impossible to play blind with anything anymore. That's another thing I'm going to try to stop doing, but I can't make any guarantees. Is uh, complaining about the fact that that happens. I just know that in this scene, when she has her head tilted like that, that, uh, that that's going to happen at some point. Anyway. You sure this isn't boring for you? It's not! Even though you just watch me read? Well, i fine with that. If you say so. This is fun sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. I'll turn this down just a little bit more. You know what I mean? Hmm? Hmm? You don't? Um... That's not... Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Would you not rub it in? Jeez. Uh, sorry. <laughs> How could I could ever get my friends to read this. I just think manga is for kids. Can't even bring up the thing being like it's probably right here oh okay no hey you still haven't grown out of that yet yes at least that's been kept <laughs> honorary billy 
lady in my Billy eyes. Because this is the way we talk here in what is usually the city of brotherly love. But we will defend ourselves and our kind should anyone try to attack us. Uh, it is such a damn crying shame that I can't like reach through cyberspace or whatever it be called in this case and give her a fist bump. Yeah, I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much like friends who are into it. And I'm not saying that. It, this is another thing I'm going to always say. I hate it when people don't respect themselves. You should have some self-respect, some self-confidence. You should never call yourself a loser. It's probably harder for someone like you. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel I can't even keep it in my own room. Yeah, it, whoa, jeez. Yeah, I figured it was something with her dad. Because uh, she was saying about her dad being a real hard ass in the last one. In this case, I, I want to, like, I also want to reach through cyberspace and wherever it be called. Just try to give her a hug to comfort her. And, and like, also punch her dad in the face myself. No one deserves this kind of abuse. We should safe here in the club room. Except Mike is kind of a jerk about it. Indeed. He's a jerk about everything. Ugh, I just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am reading it. Even though it uh, goes against at least, at least two things I stand for. Not being a weave, and more importantly, being both a man, and most importantly, a Billy son, where we don't do cutesy kinds of things. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. At least you're enjoying yourself, right? Oh. <laughs> Jeez, that's enough. You gonna keep reading or what? Ah, uh, yeah. Flip the page. This is new. I'm gonna turn the volume down just a bit more, just in case. Because I think there's gonna be like a jump scare type thing or something. So the minimum I can have it, it's still going, cause um, my uh, my thing doesn't have it. Doesn't go down to one, it only goes down to two. Time passes. So it's strangely quiet now. Glance over at it. See, she starts to fall asleep. I don't like this. This is new. And it, uh, I don't think this is going to be a good thing. And that's Suki. Okay. Yeah. Suddenly, that Suki collapses straight into me. 
Hey, what in God's name? Okay, I uh, knew it was going to be bad. Uh, and I knew that this was going to happen because I've seen this in other people's thumbnails. Anyway, but I uh, hadn't expected th this. What? I have a feeling I might regret this. Oh. Just thinking maybe it might have what's being said. Oh jeez. Matsuki, are you okay? Yeah. Anki reaches out into the bag and pulls out some kind of protein bar. So he throws it in that Suki's direction. Suki's eyes suddenly light up again. Snaps the bar from the floor and immediately tears off the wrapper. Told you not to give. So I didn't even finish the sentence before stuffing it into her mouth. Yeah, fat chance of that. She's fine. It just happens every now and then. That's why I always keep a snack in my bag for her. Anyway. Why don't we all share problems now? <sighs> Feels... I don't know what to call it, not having that... Uh, that pure and precious cinnamon burns the Orient's name not being here. I told Natsuki I was interested in the poems yesterday. It's probably only fair if I shared mine with her first. Hmm? Okay, well, let's start with the things I didn't like. First of all, um... This hasn't changed, it seems. That's okay, really reads my poem. You, never mind, I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Yeah, then what's the point of sharing the poem in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. Things that not involve cutesiness and manga and anime and all kinds of things that go directly against my ways. You should be thankful. Uh, in fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's why I had it in mind when writing this. And you have no idea what it did to my mind, to my very soul itself. I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Okay, I'm not... The hell with Monica. Monica is evil, that much I know. There's a thing that she says... Uh, if, if you want to know... As I said about before, ladies and gentlemen, as to why Sayori is not here, you can look at other people's things because I, I just could not bring myself to record that. And uh, there's this line of Monica's that it seems as if she had been behind it. Um. 
I'd be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. You're supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, Ha! Well, it's not that great, but let me show you what real literature looks like. And you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. If it helps. Again, I'm not happy at all. There were maybe three words in there that I was comfortable choosing because it did not like negatively affect me as both a man and more importantly a classic red, white, and blue blooded Billy son. So you're right, I, I I'm I'm not happy, okay? So if that makes you feel any better. So, in other words, you're saying you liked it? So, because we talk gets caught in the throat. So, you just, you don't understand anything, do you? All I know is that I know nothing. That was, yeah, let me, let me check, uh, Hold on, I'm going to pause recording this for a second. I knew I remembered that correctly. That was from Socrates, who had said, All I know is that I know nothing. And, uh... That's something that even before hearing that quote, I had, uh, had long strived to uh, have myself, I call myself the eternal noob, I noob not as in one who is like really cheap in video games, but in the, the sense of being new. I call myself the eternal noob. I like to believe that I will never know everything about anything, and therefore I am constantly fueled to gain greater knowledge. Which kind of negates this. <laughs> hey, I'd forgotten that she says that. <laughs> oh well. Pretty sure you never actually said that. And that I do remember. I, the character that at times is worthy of my name and my title saying. Because he indeed had not said that. Say that mostly to myself. Asuki must really hate me or something. Can't figure out if it's a win or a loss if she likes my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? Yeah. Fine, I guess. This will be interesting. I'll oh, screw Monica. Sweet! <laughs> it's still here! Damn right, Eagles can fly! We flew straight to the Super Bowl and we took the trophy back home where it belongs! Eagles can damn well fly! Monkeys can climb, critics can weave, horses can race, owls can seek, cheese can run. Eagles can always and will always fly! People can try, but that's about it. Now, this is an interesting thing. Just then, there was usually this uh, box that would say about click outside of the poem to continue. I'm thinking it's uh, only because I'm going from a, uh, a finished up route into the next. I'm not sure though because I reloaded as I said before. Uh, Delete the game and then reinstalled it, so I don't know. Yeah. I told you you were going to like it. You're damn right. I didn't like it. I loved it. I adored it! 
will forever be that way. What? Just be honest. I'm being honest, baby. <laughs> I could not be more honest if I tried. Besides, I, I tried to go by the words of Abraham Lincoln. I see the best policy. You know, what reason why I'm not to be honest, especially when it's talking about my love, my admiration that is undying for my city in which America, my pride and joy, was born in. So you're damn right I am. Why are you so convinced I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poem for people to express themselves? Especially if it's expression about how eagles can indeed fly to the Super Bowl and bring it home? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid because, especially of the fact that we are the Super Bowl champs. Yes, exactly. The Eagles deserve that win. They deserve every win. All of Philadelphia will always win. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I just can't help it. Not when I get in the zone like this. <laughs> I like it when it's easy to read, but hits you hard. The way we do, and our, towards our opponents, in all sports, we hit them hard. Maybe you're not like physically hitting them in, in non-contact sports, but we damn sure do hit them hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things should be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand that on a more melancholy account. But the other nice thing about simple writing is it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like when I set up for a rhyme at the end, but they made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah. Guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is. Matsuki is feeling proud, and I won't take that away from him. And this part is also true. It really doesn't matter how young or how old you are. Like, like Jack Holland, for instance, he was in his 90s, and he was still working out twice a day, every day. And, um, and Alexander the Great, the man who conquered the known world, he had died... I think it was, I'm pretty sure it was the age of 30. It was either 30 or 33, I can never remember. And that was a young age, a very young age, to die at, even in the classical era. And he conquered the known world before that point. So yeah, young, old, it really don't matter with jack shit. Squat. Again, I'm going to try to keep the language down for anyone out there who's got like sensitive ears. And again, to shut up the just Monica people. Hi, Bob and Rob. Having a good time so far? 
You're damn right, since there was still the poem, the Eagles can fly. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. It's another thing I will always have to say about that in real life I would indeed suggest pizza parties except uh, for me instead of ordering pizza order a foot long cheesesteak and fries because that is a Billy meal and I ain't afraid of nothing because I'm a Billy son All right, I'll keep that in mind. And I'm not going to say that because of what I just said. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> anyway, want to share your poem with me? It is, that much is true. That much is true is Spandau Ballet. And in case anyone has forgotten, uh, that is a take on... There was in, I believe it was 83, yes, 83, there was a song by a band called Spandau, Spandau Ballet called True, and that song was a tribute to the legendary Marvin Gaye. But I guess I'll have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Bob. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll have to them to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I am my, my, I do air quotes for a poem because in this case, like, it, except for, again, there's, yeah, yeah, I think it was four things, I think it was. I think it was milk, marshmallow, Lollipop, because that can be used for like, for like cooking. Like I've seen on that TV show Chopped. And sugar. Except for those four things. Which can be used in culinary arts. Because of the whole thing with Natsuki being all about baking. I, yeah, it just was not me. Mm-hmm. I like it, Bob. Really? That That's exactly the point. That's why I said really in that kind of way. And, and, and I also uh, feel the need to once again point out about like, she's even got this face, like, did you seriously write this? <laughs> oh, jeez. No, no. It kind of makes me think of something that Suku would write. And she's a good writer, too. So take that as a compliment. <laughs> If you say so. Yep. If you're interested. If you're interested in the Suki, then I'll always keep a snack on you. And first, I thought then, then always. Wait, let her snack on you or something? I don't know what I thought it said. <laughs> something about that. So cling to you like a puppy. <laughs> yeah, this is yet another thing that I heard through the grapevine because no one ever shuts up. Matsuki's dad doesn't give her lunch money or leave her any food in the house. What the? So she's in a fussy mood pretty often. Leave her any food? That ain't right. 
Well, it explains that poem about what I like about Papa. It's called. Or I think it's called that. Anyway. Sometimes he just loses all his strength and shuts down. Jeez, I knew this was going to be dark, this uh, second act, if you will, because I've heard it called that, Act 2. Didn't expect it to be like this, though. I also didn't expect it to be this overt. Jeez. Sincerely hope that this is not how it actually is in Japan, that they have, like, child protective services in Japan like cause even even with teenagers like should still have like something for, for teens as well jeez cause uh this, this whole game takes place in Japan like earlier this is it. Yeah, that's what I had thought that might be uh, the case because uh, this one time, this thing with the comments section on YouTube, uh, saw this thing someone said about like, like a black comedy kind of a uh, remark saying about. Natsuki being starved for attention and uh, seeing that and then seeing how thin she looks, I thought that might be the case. Jeez. But hey, some guys are into petite kills, you know? Yeah. Yeah, real, real bright side saying about her being starved near to death. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? This is another thing I'll never understand about, uh... For, for one thing, first and foremost, as always, people should never be this way. People should have self-confidence and... and saying, don't worry, before that, Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. How would Monica know all of that? How would she know? Well, yeah, I guess Natsuki might have told her, but... Still. More importantly, why wouldn't Monica do anything about it? It's supposed to be a friend. Anyway. Uh, yeah, um, the thing about, uh, if you're not very good at something, shouldn't, be, shouldn't that be a reason to, maybe not worry, but for lack of a better term, do such? It sounds pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? Let's see. Well, let's read then. I wonder if this is going to be anything different. No, it doesn't seem that way. Hold on. Wait. No. No, this is different. Title is the same. These are entirely different words. But he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glanced at my surroundings. My burned eyes no longer see color. Are there others in this room? Are they talking? Or are they simply poems on flat sheets of paper, sound of frantic scrawling playing tricks on my ears? The room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. The air I breathe dissipates before it reaches my lungs. I panic, 
It must be a way out. It's right there. He's right there. Swallowing my fears, I brandish my pen. Interesting. Also interesting is that unlike in the previous thing it doesn't seem to be so much an allusion to Monica who from what I've come to understand apparently has a sort of uh, knowledge doesn't seem to have as much uh, of that in there. Huh. So, what do you think? This is, yet yeah, those two lines are the same. This is the same still. This is the same. This is the same. This is the same. This is quite curious. I would think that since her poem changed, the dialogue would have changed as well. This is still the same. Yeah, maybe this part will make mark a, uh, a change. What was the inspiration behind this poem? Uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. Yeah, I don't think she said that before. Uh, uh, yeah, she did say that. About an epiphany. Again, seeming to hint at meta-knowledge. This is the same. This. This. This is different. Interesting. It took this long. And yet, skip options there. Was this different? I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's coming on kind of strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. This I imagine will be different. Or not. Hmm. Oops. Just seeing if uh, it's any kind of those things where it uh, becomes hand with the index finger. Pointing forward, like one of those link type things, as I always do with the text in these games. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Might as well even do so here. Again, I don't like it either, Hayes. And uh, again, in case any of you have forgotten, ladies and gentlemen, that's my nickname for Yori because he has purple hair. As in Purple Haze, one of the big hits of Jimi Hendrix, the undisputed master 
of the guitar as well as more importantly an army veteran and so as I speak of him I salute the heavens hmm he always stares at the poem may it pass it's more than enough time for her to finish reading um oh so, sorry I forgot to start speaking uh, um it's fine don't force yourself not just plain to put my thoughts into words hold on okay this is your first time writing a poem right yeah let's just get over that Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading it. Ah, so it's that bad, which it, it, it indeed would be. Natsuki's poems are the the only poems that I am glad of the fact that uh, there's no automatically. It's not automatically generated. Uh, as to what the poem would look like. No! Did I just raise my voice? That's me, as I've said before, with Naps the Boog from the, uh, from Undertale, beating herself up for no reason. never fail to amuse me please I'm begging you guys someone explain is this something commonplace in um, anime or manga or anything like that and if so why this whole thing with her eye disappearing like that oh jeez uh, I'm so sorry my bellies are face in my hands I couldn't help but notice it's been several minutes and we haven't really gotten anywhere. Might take a, very a while to get the new people. It's fine, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right. Um, it's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter that they form for the two together. The end result is that the style and expressiveness are weakened. Once you already find it's a train of thought. I could have sworn there was something there just there. So a split second black line going where the cursor is. Maybe it's just some malfunction with my Acer. Uh, whatever. So if it were to it totally changes. Stammer is completely gone. He sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There's so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little biased though. Yeah. Let's see if... I'm not sure if it would work in the history part. It's interesting, the skip option is available for all of them. I'm still going to do this 
This is going to uh, not skip through just to see if I can see if there's anything new. Since we're right now we're in, in Act 2, as I've heard it called. Uh, um. Well. Never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. Let's see if you always apologize on myself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. He always smiles dreamily as if there's a rare opportunity to play that. I wonder if this will be the same. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? So the title remains the same. Ghost Under the Light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last main street light of the stored test of time. The last yet to be replaced by a sickening blue green hue of the future. I bathe. Calm, breathing air of the present, living. The light flickers. I flicker back. Nope. Nothing new there either. Just in Monica's poem, but that's the only one that's changed. Interesting. Guess maybe that has to do with her metal, meta knowledge. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. I... Well, I just don't read scripts very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? That's... Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. I don't know. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. And the ghost story? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, about love. Really? Must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you only did glance over it after all. But remember that poets often express their thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past. Soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more sound putting it that way. I didn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing really. Oh, well, it makes me happy that you think of that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things too. Yeah, maybe you're right. Guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. 